Today we'll be testing the Cyan Engine Mod Installer on a 2012 Nexus 7 running stock Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with a locked bootloader. So here we have the app on the device and we'll go ahead and hit begin. And this is going to say to use camera PTP instead of MTP for file transfer. So we'll go ahead and select that and now I gotta shimmy with it. Uh, continue the installation of Windows. So we have the Windows program and I will fire it up right here. And there it is. So it's updating the installer. And then it will tell us to connect the device. All right, so now it wants me to plug in the device. So I'll take it. And I will plug in the USB cable. Sorry about the horrible angle. And detect the device. And there it goes. It is now downloading operating system. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. So this would be it downloading presumably CyanogenMod mod 10.1.3 or that maybe maybe it has nightlies maybe it's the latest stable would make most sense to me system applications so that would be G apps it's almost done with that alright everything's ready the device will be factory reset during the process and we go ahead and hit install Alright, so the device just rebooted into the bootloader. Alright, so now it is having us go through the process of unlocking the bootloader, so I'll go ahead and do that. Unlocking now. Alright, it says, oh, yeah. Select yes, and then press power to continue. And I did that, so we'll go ahead. Uh, still unlocking, I think. I haven't done this in forever. Okay, looks like that's done. So I'll go ahead and, oh, there it goes. Now it's installing. No, oh, maybe. It's in an infinite loop. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot it. It is not responding. All right, guys. Oh, there we go. Could this be because the bootloader didn't unlock? Restart bootloader. Okay, we're starting into bootloader again. There it goes. Cable's very finicky, so I gotta be careful with it. Oh, there it goes. Let's see what happens, because I just heard it disconnect. Oh, we have the little Android. I saw Sid there before, too. So that's doing its business. I saw Sid, don't know where he went. That little bar froze. Reboot. There's Sid, hello. Alright, so it says installing operating system on the computer. You still have Sid on the device. All right, our um, operating system is almost done, so we'll see what we have next. Next, we are waiting for device. Oh, back to the little Android with a little progress bar there. Gotta keep the screen clean. some progress. Back to Sid, installing system applications. Alright, now it's installing system applications. So we're back to him. This is low progress part. Alright, 
This is finishing up now, just a few more moments. And we're back to this. All right, installation complete. You've successfully installed Cyanogen Mod. We hope you enjoy your new mobile operating system. Please wait while your device reboots. And there it goes. Google, the bootloader is now unlocked. We should see here momentarily the Cyanogen Mod boot animation. And there it is. Exit out of the program, and now we're done with that. And here is the Nexus 7 now running Cyanogen Mod instead of stock. And we're back. Here is the device now on Cyanogen Mod. And I was rather surprised to see this. The installer installed the latest nightly for the device. I would have thought that it would install the latest stable or maybe the monthly snapshot, but Maybe that's just the test thing right now. Maybe when the final product is out and available for everyone, they'll have a choice. But it worked. My Nexus 7 went from stock to CyanogenMod.